this is the meter console of Domino 250. This is a new version. So which is exactly identical like my 400 2018 version. So in the left hand side you can see this is the pass switch. This is the upper dipper. This is the indicator. This, this is the horn. In the other hand you can see this is the ignition switch and this is the self start button. And between that you can see this is the headlight button. So hi guys as you can see that I am riding Domino 250 2022 edition and I am telling you what all changes I failed in this uh, bike apart from design language. So um, the way I always start the video the height I personally feel uh, the height is the same like Domino 400 and for your reference my height is 5'6 and uh, I was not tiptoeing but my feet are uh, not planted as well but if your height is below than 5.5 five, then it will be a big issue again I'm saying that it depends on your skill so now to talk about the power the engine is exactly the same like 2020 edition only the aesthetics has been changed so uh, this bike is having uh, 248.8 cc of engine with 6 speed manual uh, gearbox which produces 26.63 bhp of power and 23.5 newton meter of torque but this power is just in pen and paper so in reality uh, it is higher than most of the 250 cc engine and the six speed gearbox is really helping to play around uh, with the bike in highway or in busy road as well as you can see right now so as i have domino 400 so power difference is clearly visible because just now i have ridden domino 400 to come to bajaj showroom so as the bike is heavy it will not feel scary while you are riding this so now coming to the seat height, uh, the, the seat, uh, so the seat is uh, for me extra cushioning as well. Uh, as a result, this bike um, is best in terms of long touring, but uh, the seat is good for rider, but for pillion it is very small. So you will need uh, extra uh, cushion or maybe you need uh, the backrest as well for pillion, especially if you do long tour. So if I'll talk about the vibration, vibration is there, but it is very less. Bajaj is actually working in great in that. So obviously uh, uh, it is a single cylinder uh, uh, engine, so vibration is clearly visible. So uh, you can take vibration in a positive way that makes feel your limit. Okay. <laughs> So riding posture is great, upright and footrest is little in center side. So as you can, you, this kind of motorcycle is good for long tour as well. And uh, this center footrest is really helping a lot to give the sporty nature. As a result, this bike is called as sports tourer. When you need sudden acceleration, you need to tuck down and give throttle okay so now if i'm talking about the brake the the brake is always weak in domino be it 400 or 250 it is improved uh, than before but weakness is still visible it is very disheartening a bike like domino which was manufactured since 2017 and it is still having the weir, uh, uh, weak rear brake but the front brake is very good ABS is working absolutely fine now if I'm talking about the turning radius let's take a u-turn from here so it'll be best for me to tell you the turning radius is big especially because of the heavy weight and uh, the long or long handlebar 
Uh, this bike is weighing around 180 kilogram carb weight which is only 7 kilogram lighter than Domino 400. So it is heaviest among all motorcycles on its own segment bikes. Handlebar is light, easy to move at least, what I can feel so, at least I, I can feel. And the reason behind the aluminum alloy. But as compared to Domino 400, it is lighter because in Domino 400, you will get diamond cut alloy. Uh, now, uh, as uh, if I'm comparing with any other 250 motorcycle, then handlebar is little heavy. So, as a result, what happened? It is very easy for me to maneuver within the busy traffic because I am completely used to with it. But if you are upgrading your motorcycle from Splendor, then it will be really difficult for you. But uh, if you would have it uh, riding a motorcycle, a heavy motorcycle, then it will be pretty easy for you. Uh, yes, uh, now if I will talk about the headlight. The headlight is also very good. I personally feel Dominar is having great headlight illumination okay and it is still date i can say uh, and it is improved day by day okay the only issue uh, most of the dominar owners are facing including me that uh, headlight gets vaporized during rainy season and it is difficult for a rider as well and even at least I, I i was facing and i have already spoken with the uh, uh, the bajaj showroom and they are telling that even if in the new motorcycles are also having the same issue so uh, bajaj should really take action in immediate basis because this motorcycle is considered as a touring motorcycle and when um, this headlight gets vaporized during rainy season it is difficult for a rider as well and they need to completely depend on the auxiliary lights and which is not good for long term because obviously it is uh, first of all it is illegal and the second thing is that it is hampering your um, the wiring as well so now if we'll talk about the suspensions uh, they are very comfortable and the front suspensions are the front suspensions are light and the USD fork is giving extra stability in highway in rear as usual you will get a uh, mono suspension and that also a little soft this kind of suspensions are really helping to do long tours but off road a big no uh, as I, as i have told uh, as i have discussed about the display now it's time for bajaj to upgrade the display for both the variant bajaj should give the same type of uh, twin display into this bike and in Domino they should give TFT color screen at least and that will discuss in detail while I'll review the Domino 400 2022 edition okay so let's talk about the mileage kitna deti hai so the most of the Indians are asking the same question so company claims that this motorcycle is giving around uh, 38 35 to 38 kilometer per liter which is decent enough okay so again uh, it based on your riding style so based on the power and the peak of what Bajaj is delivering so at least you can expect uh, 32 to 35 which is decent so now let's go back to home and I'll discuss with you that whether you should consider this motorcycle in 2022 or not. So now this is the final part that whether you should consider this motorcycle in 2022 or not. Okay. So before I jump into that conclusion, uh, I just want to tell you one thing that this motorcycle is having three color variants and these are the color variants. Okay. And in my opinion, I like personally the lemon green one. What's your opinion? You can comment on the comment section. You may have a different opinion. So please let me know in the comment section that whether you like this color, which color you will go for. Now, second thing that I need to mention that this motorcycle is uh, costing around uh, 1.68 uh, thousand X showroom. Okay. Uh, in different cities, is a different different price so that's the reason i'm not going to tell you that uh, what is the price on road okay so please contact with your nearest showroom for the exact price okay now uh i just want to tell you if i'm talking about the price then obviously i need to tell you the price for domino 2 250 and domino 400 
because there is only 25 to 30 thousand of gap you can find in domino 250 and domino 400 so is it worth it to pay extra 30,000 and go for domino or is it better to uh, pay less and go with domino 250 uh, yes this is I'm even confused with okay uh, but I asked a domino 250 guy because uh, that whether it is okay for him to pay extra because obviously he, he can get uh, extra 150 cc engine capacity and as well as the power figure is also very good so what he was telling me that he can he is getting around uh, 35 to 38 kilometer of mileage from this dominant 250 which is actually very good looking at the price of the fuel uh, and in domino 400 at least uh, you will be getting around um, no 25 kilometer max that i'm telling you and because i'm also a domino owner by the way so i just personally feel that those who are those who want a better mileage while a motorcycle so definitely they can go with domino 250 but if you would have an if there is no problem for you to pay for petrol then definitely you can go for domino 400 okay because domino 400 is also a very good option but i personally feel so that domino 400 is now dated because uh, there are lots of things needs to be changed into domino 400 to make the sales figure better i know that uh, still the sales figure is great in indian market nowadays for domino 400 and it has its own fan base uh, but still i personally feel so that Bajaj should really work on Domino 400. Definitely, I will gonna make a different video for that. Okay, so I'll not gonna include uh, this positive and negative parts of Domino 400 into this video. But this motorcycle is perfect. Those who wants to have Domino for long tours and as well as uh, those who are looking for a better mileage oriented motorcycle, but wants Domino, they can go with this motorcycle. Fit and finish wise, this motorcycle is absolutely brilliant what I can see. But yes, you need an extra maintenance uh, so that this motorcycle will be perfect in a perfect condition. So that's all about it. Uh, yes, if you like this video, you can hit the like button. And if you don't like this video, you can hit the dislike button as well. So no matter what you're going to do, please, 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 please subscribe my channel. That is the Bangalorean bomb and hit the bell icon so that you will get the earliest notification so if you would have any other questions as well apart from this motorcycle or about this motorcycle as well so please do connect with me in my instagram page and that is the bangalorean bong and you can also follow me in my facebook page as well and that is also the bangalorean bong so that's all from my end guys so till then take care bye bye and have a blast